because it's very dangerous to look at the sun, we have to make a special viewer to do that. And this is how we do it. What you'll need is a cereal packet, a sheet of A4 white cut paper, and some tin foil, self adhesive tape, as well as that you're going to need a pair of scissors and a pin. So what we do to start with is you take the uh, cereal packet, at the end we need to cut off about a quarter of the way across at the top Chop that off completely. Also chopping off the side. And we're also going to cut off the other side to the same extent. do exactly the same on the other side of the uh, box so it's easier if you just put the flap down you can see where you've got to cut Okay, so we should be left with two flaps and two holes. What we now need to do is to get a piece of white paper and trim it so it's just slightly narrower than the bottom of the size of our box. If you look, that is now just slightly narrower. So I cut that all the way up to the top. Don't have to be very accurate, just need to do that. That can be thrown away now. What we now need to do is to create a base in here. So if we create a fold like that, just fold it, fold it back on itself. Now what we want to do is have this very, very slightly narrower than our uh, box width. So we have a guess at measuring that. Again, it doesn't have to be too accurate. And what we're doing is we're creating a fold like that. We then put that into the bottom of our box. If we folded that correctly, it should sit neatly in the bottom. Take a little bit of tape stick that inside just to stop the uh, edge of slapping around so you can see now that's just held in there what we now do is take these two flaps fold them back as they were originally and stick a piece of uh, tape Cross the join. I'll show you that in a second. Once I've stuck it. So I've stuck it both ways just to hold that all together. And now we've got two holes still, and that's nice and solid. So what we now need to do is to get our piece of tin foil and cover one of size. So just literally, only one thickness. So put it over there to start with. Stick down that corner. And we'll turn it over, pull that across there, and stick down that corner. And then again, at the top, we're going to make sure that's 
done across there like that. Now we need to do is to fold this bit down. So just fold that out of the way. If you like me, stick that down there so it's out of the way. And then just tidy these up because if you're doing a parcel, and hold those across and then we'll, we'll stick those down as well just to keep everything out of the way. So now we have a box this side with the hole, this side covered. What we do is we take our pin, be very, very careful, don't want you stabbing yourself with this. And in the middle of that hole, make a very, very small pinhole. That's it. Only the one, and only use the tip of the pin. And hopefully, you might be able to see that there. And what we do is with our back to the sun, we look through this hole and let the sun go through there and we can view the sun on the screen that we created at the bottom, that white piece. And there we have it, a simple sun viewer and that's uh, all made from a cardboard box, a piece of tin file. And effectively what you've made is a pinhole camera and that pinhole camera is taking the image of the sun which is really bright and projecting that onto the back. And remind you again, never ever look directly at the sun because you will damage your eyes in doing it. So you always use something like this to observe the sun and something like this is ideal but if we ever get to an eclipse you can see that uh, and see the moon moving across the sun. So that's how we do it.